This video is sponsored by DraftKings. This is the hardest defense to play against in Madden 23. It shuts down the run. Plays lights out against the pass. And gets interceptions all game. So if you guys want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this, thank you. We don't it on my ride, but I drive it. Stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be using the San Francisco 49ers. This has been one of my most requested teams in the comments section lately, and I've used just about every other team in the game this year. As always, though, if you guys want to see me use your favorite team, just let me know in the comments section. You might see me use them next. For my depth chart, I'm going to start with Trey Lance at quarterback since he is the fastest and also has the best throw power. At wide receiver, Danny Gray will be my secret weapon with his 94 speed, so I will start him at wide receiver three. And on defense, the only change that I will make is to start Jimmy Ward at free safety. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my ebooks on offense i am still using my steelers ebook once again with the nfl live playbook set to on and on defense i am using my multi-d defensive ebook if you guys need more money plays like this you can always check out my ebooks for more links in the description and in the comments in my first game we have a division rival in the arizona cardinals who still have one of the best offenses in the game with kyler murray deandre hopkins and hollywood brown before getting into the video though if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel i start this game out on offense and the reason that I put the NFL Live Playbook to on is so I can unlock this hidden formation, the gun stack wide flex. I'm going to be focusing on defense today, but if you guys want to see more about this offense, I recently made several videos, so I will have links in the description for them as well as on screen pops at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I started the game out by running the ball a lot, since the Niners really don't have a quarterback and my opponent keeps coming out in these light boxes on defense. But after back-to-back -back cover three blitzes, I decided to take a shot against it with the fade out play, which is probably the glitchiest one play touchdown against this defense in the game. All you have to do is run this from a half mark to the open side of the field put the b receiver on a comeback route and the y route will get open outside of the cornerback if you bull in pass lead away break yourself fool i can't stay in bounds but that's okay as i connect with chris mccaffrey aka my entire offense to get inside the one before finishing the drive with the one inch punch no gun defense on the ensuing kickoff i kick it to the fullback and true i bet you here I switch offenses thinking I'm about to go up big, only this time I do something that I never do and throw it to the running back. Hello darkness, my old friend. And now Buda Baker is going the other way, only this time there's no DK Metcalf on my team to stop him. <laughs> Damn it! I go back to my gun stack wide flex offense after that and back to pounding the rock with run CMC as my opponent keeps coming out in light boxes. So I'm going to make him pay for it until he bulks up. I finally see him shifting and stacking for the run and he even changes defenses to cover format so that the safeties will play the run also. So on the next play I switch to the PA read as all I have to do is put the Y route on a fade and the X route gets wide open for an easy touchdown. Break yourself fool! On defense, I finally get to show you guys the concept that today's video is about, but before I do, I first want to share a quick word from today's video sponsor, DraftKings. Training camps have already started to open up around the league, which means that fantasy football is almost here. If you already play fantasy football with your friends, family, and coworkers, then DraftKings has just a game for you this year with their largest best ball contest ever. How to play is simple. It's just like a regular fantasy football league, only with a $1 million top prize. To start playing best ball, download the DraftKings app, sign up using code MADMONEYSHOT, enter DraftKings best ball $10 million contest and draft your team for the season. That's it. Each week you'll automatically rack up points from all of your team's top scores. No ads, no drops, no trades, no I should have played that guy instead. You'll just be able to sit back and enjoy the fantasy football action without ever needing to manage your team. And the team with the most points at the end of the season will take home the $1 million top prize. And the best part is, if you use code MADMONEYSHOT, you will get back your first $10 entry fee in DK dollars. So what are you waiting for? Head to the DraftKings app and sign up with code MADMONEYSHOT and start playing best ball today only on DraftKings with code MADMONEYSHOT.
The defense that today's video is about is more a concept that you can create out of just about any cover three or cover four defense. But the play that I'm going to be using first is the quarter normal three double buzz. I start by using this play because my opponent starts his offense in an empty backfield look and it also has the shortest setup. Usually against a cover three defense, a spread offensive formation like this is a nightmare as the slot receivers on both sides of this play would get open right up the seams between the deep single high safety and the outside corners. But with this play, all you have to do is man the two safeties that that are in hook zones to those same two receivers and now this play has no natural weakness except for the routes underneath which you can always take away by playing underneath changing your curl flats to hard flats just make sure to set your hard flats to five yards in the coaching adjustments so that they will cover these short routes the other coaching adjustments that i like to use are to set my zone coverage to match and my curl flats to 15. i also like to play cornerback matchups to overall and my ball in the air defense to play ball for more interceptions on the next play i use the exact same setup leaving the tight end is my responsibility and coverage but once I see the ball move in the quarterback's hands I think he's going to check it down so I bail for the short route and give up a big play to the tight end after that he starts to run the ball more first with a quarterback draw and later with a simple inside zone before D hop beats my man coverage outside for another first down so after he runs it again, I decide to go to another play from the scheme that I put out a few months back called the Under Smoke. I start the play by coming out in the same defense so he sees that as the coverage shell before I press my defense and then change over to the Under Smoke in hopes that he doesn't see the blitz coming. Gotcha, bitch! With a minute 30 left, it looks like he is in cover zero as well, so I switch over to the drive H wheel, put the X route on a streak. Break yourself, fool! I run a hurry up from here just to keep him in this defense so I can take the running back underneath to get inside the 20 before milking the clock down and doing it again. Oh shit, that's just too easy. In the next game, I start this game out on offense as well, only this time I'm going to use a different offense that I recently made videos about out of the gun tight doubles, as these are really the only two offenses that I use, and I will once again have links in the description at the end of the video if you guys want to know more. It looks like he is in cover three, so I switched to the shot fade cross because this play is very glitchy against a lot of different defenses. Against cover three, all you have to do is run from a hash mark to the short side of the field, put the Y route on a streak, and the B route gets wide open for a big play. I hit the running back underneath on the next play to get in the field goal range before I see he is in man zero on the next play. So I switch back to the shot fade cross as it also beats any man coverage. Oops. And since he presses the secondary, we get open even easier. On defense, he starts this game out by pounding the rock and passing from large three tight end sets. And I try to stay in my smaller defensive package for the purpose of this video, but it ultimately fails as he ties the game. But I'll show you what to do on the next drive to fix that. Back on offense, he is all over the tight end, but I still thread the needle to beat his coverage F you! before reading cover one on the next play. So I switch back to the shot fade cross one more time, and this play works just like it did against cover zero as the X route runs right past his defender. Back on defense, I can't let him just bulk up and walk down the field anymore, so I'm going to match and bulk up as well to a bigger defense and use the exact same concept out of the dime normal cover four quarters. This setup is going to be very similar, only this time I have four down defensive linemen that I can pinch to seal up any run lanes. Bring that ass here, boy. For the setup, I can use the safeties in man coverage the exact same way, although if I have an offense like this, I can just man the one receiver in the slot and put the other safety over the middle third instead. Cover four is also a much better run defense even if you man the safeties like I did here. They still react much better in run support as we shut him down on back-to-back -back plays. He passes on third and long to get into a fourth and short, giving me the opportunity to bulk up one more time to my 3-4 odd cover four quarters before going right back to the exact same setup here. A week ago. Woo! On offense, he must be getting frustrated as he comes out in another man zero, so I switch right back to the shot fade cross one more time and hit the exact same fade route for another big play. From here, I want to kill some clock before half, so I switch to the quick base to get the clock running before I switch back to the drive H wheel to punch it in again. Now with only 11 seconds left, I know running isn't an option, so I switch back to the three double buzz and passing isn't an option either. In the second half, he comes out all balked up one more time, but he's no longer running the balls. The four down lineman is shutting that down. No! On second down, I get a big sack from Bosa to push him to a third and 17, and everything is locked up again, only to see the running back come out of the backfield underneath for a huge first down. Since there's only one receiver on the field, I use one safety to man to him, while the other I man to the running back underneath, and everything is locked up once again, as I almost get an interception. 
He takes the running back again on the next play to get into a third and short. And everything is locked up on the next play as well before I leave my assignment, thinking that if he threw it there, I would have plenty of time to get back with the ball in the air, but I was wrong. Oops. As he punches it in a few plays later. Damn it! He decides to go for two and uses the exact same play used on fourth down earlier. How about new? On the next series on offense, I make a bad read, but I also make a good adjustment with the ball in the air. You got moss. As we moss his safety and take it all the way for the game winner. And that's all, folks. <laughs> This man zone combo has really been giving my opponents fits, so try this concept out and let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Other than that, I have breakdowns of the offenses that I was using in these two games, both popping up on screen, so if you guys want to check them out, I'm sure to have a game. Just click on the links. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Let's out. Support, then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.